Welcome to Blacksmith Tactical, I'm Brandon. Uh, today we wanted to go make a quick video going over some of the adjustments uh, that you might want to make to your holster once you receive from us. Uh, the first one we're going to go over is the most common one, which is adjusting the retention. Uh, everything is test fitted with the real gun before it leaves our shop. But with that said, it's it's just a big thing about personal preference. So everybody, uh, you know, has a different opinion or feeling of what they want their retention to be. Uh, but either way, it's real easy to adjust. Um, so you just start with, you know, checking the retention. If you like it, great. If not, uh, all you have to do is adjust this top screw right in front of the trigger guard. Uh, you can adjust it, uh, you know, tighten it up if you want a little bit more retention. You know, if that's too much, you want to back it off a little bit. And it's really that simple. Um, it's the same thing for if you have a concealment claw. It's this top screw. The bottom screw with the concealment claw is there to just hold down the concealment claw. Uh, so your retention point is this top screw here. It goes for uh, the same thing with light bearing holsters. So in this case, it's uh, gonna incorporate these two screws. This bottom screw is just there to help secure the uh, concealment claw. For outside the waistband, depending on the size of the gun, you might have two. So like this one's for the staccato. So it's a pretty big gun, so we have two retention screws on it. You know, again, you just back them off or tighten them up, depending on uh, your personal preference. And that's it. Uh, the next one we're gonna go over is uh, ride height. So ride height, uh, we have the options for ride height on our V2 AIWB uh, and our beltless IWB. And our beltless IWB has uh, the, the most options for it because of how we set up this whole pattern, uh, especially you know the utilization of the concealment claw there. Uh, and it's real easy, you just back out these two screws. Just take them both out and you'll see the whole pattern underneath there and uh you can really see all the whole options there and then you can move them up or down accordingly and then just set your washers back on always make sure that you set the washers on the outside of the holster and not the inside uh if you put it on the inside of the holster that's kind of where you get into uh, issues that you might scratch your gun because we have this area that for blocking to accommodate that backside of uh of the post of the nut of the actual screw so what you want to do is you want to make sure that those spacers are on top. That way you prevent uh, the holster from scratching. So just move your, uh, move your belt clip to the proper ride height that you want it to. And it'll take some fine tuning to get it exactly where you want it. Again, all this stuff comes down to personal preference. Um, so just secure everything back down how it was and you're good to go. Um, and essentially the same thing goes for our V2. You pull these screws out, you move them into uh, you know opposing hole pattern, whichever one you want, and tighten them back down. Uh, the next thing we'll go over is cant for our standard IWB and our outside the waistband holsters. Uh, you have the option for adjustable cant. So uh, this is the actual screw that it rides on. So you can move it up or down. Right now it's in the you know 90 degree cant position. So you can pull this screw out. So you'll set that to the side. And you're going to loosen up the other screw. You're going to pull the belt clip off. You're going to move your outside screw to this on the side of the slide move that up to the upper hole pattern put your belt clip back on and just tighten everything back down and like i said i mean the word of this video is personal preference i mean it, it really just kind of comes down to your carry position your body type you know so you can adjust it for you know strong side carry um, you know, for 90 degrees, it's usually kind of where most people carry it for appendix. On our OWB uh, mod rig with the low profile belt slide, you have all these screw patterns, you know, across the back side, so you can move this thing around accordingly. And for this one, you're going to loosen, you're going to loosen this bottom screw and you're going to pull the top two screws totally out. Take out one screw, set it to the side, take out the other, and you can rotate it back and forth to accommodate whatever carry position you actually want it to be in. So I will add a little forward cant to this one. And don't tighten the screws down all the way until you get, uh, until you get them all kind of like just finger tight. That way you're not fighting to get it back into position. And once it's in position, just lock them all down. 
Now we've added a little bit of forward cant to this holster. So the uh, that's cant. The last thing we want to go over is if you've got a non-light bearing holster, uh, IWB holster, and you put a concealment claw on it additionally, you're going to get a little bag in it that looks like this. Uh, what's inside this bag, and we actually get this question a lot, is what is that little extra piece? So what it is, is it's actually this. So standard, we put the small uh, concealment claw attachment on. What it comes with is the uh, larger concealment claw attachment. So all it does is decide, again, personal preference. So it, it adjusts how much force it pushes against the inside of your belt, uh, which really aids in concealment. You know, for the most part, a lot of people find that the small attachment does just fine. Um, I find that the small attachment works for me, even with a Glock 19, but it's real easy to swap out. And that's why we give you the, the larger one too. So it's just held on with a Phillips screw. You just undo that one screw, keep your finger on the, the backup nut here so it doesn't fall out. And you'll see these little, little posts on the inside. They're gonna ride right on the inside attachment there. And then just uh, put the screw back in and tighten it back down. It's that easy. Uh, hope this answers some of the questions y'all might have. And a lot of this stuff goes for our holsters or other companies. Um, but if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out info at blacksmithtactical.com and don't hesitate to ask. We're happy to help.